In today's gaming world, shooters are inescapable. Most of you probably have some way you prefer playing them. Up until a month or two ago, I was a strict stickler for mouse and keyboard controls, or failing that, the kind of motion controls you see in Metroid Prime 3 or GoldenEye Wii. But then, after YouTube comment after YouTube comment, I was persuaded to try one particular shooter with the Steam controller, and I'll be damned if I don't say it works really well. Today, we are talking about setting up your Steam controller to play first-person shooters. We will be using Doom 2016 as an example, but you could use these same settings for the many, many, many other shooters on Steam and beyond. The control scheme we're looking at is actually a combination of aiming with a mouse and aiming with motion controls. It's surprisingly intuitive once you have it tuned just right, but it does take a little effort to tweak it to your liking. It's not much harder than adjusting mouse sensitivity, though. The goal is to be able to generally look around with the trackpad and then make fine aiming adjustments with the gyro sensor while your thumb is on the trackpad. If you've played Splatoon with the gyro controls on the Wii U pad, you've kinda got the gist. Before all that, we've gotta discuss a little Steam Controller etiquette. When you're playing shooters on the Steam Controller, there are two types of games out there. Doom 2016 is a lucky example, as you can see from this page. This game allows you to use a controller and a mouse at once. In theory, this means you can plug in an Xbox controller and a mouse and use them both at the same time, and you can switch from controller to mouse at will. This is actually very useful in games like Grand Theft Auto V, where I prefer driving with a controller but shooting with a mouse. We'll call these games hybrids. Some other games, like Fallout 4, actually do not support using a controller and a mouse at once. If you set the trackpad to act as a mouse and the buttons to act as actual controller buttons, that ain't gonna fly. We'll call these games one or the others, or UTOs for short. When using the Steam controller for shooters, hybrids are more preferential, as they allow you to adjust sensitivity for the trackpad and the gyro sensor separately. We want the gyro mouse sensitivity to be much lower than the trackpad sensitivity to allow for those quick, yet very fine aiming adjustments. UTOs are a different story, however, and they require that you use a setting called mouse joystick, which is far less accurate and far more reliant on in-game sensitivity adjustments, meaning you can't adjust gyro and mouse controls separately, meaning you don't get that sweet spot, meaning you're going to be stuck in vats a lot. For hybrids, like Doom 2016 or Deus Ex Mankind Divided, we want to adjust the trackpad sensitivity so that when you move your thumb from the center to the edge of the trackpad, Doom Guy does a complete 180. Adjusting the sensitivity in-game is going to get you more accurate results than adjusting it through Steam. It's going to take some tinkering. Once you've got that settled, bop on over to your Steam controller settings, set your gyro to mouse, and lower the sensitivity on the gyro through Steam. Again, experiment a little bit so it feels accurate. Then, you're on your way. Go kill some demons from hell. You can follow the steps above for UTOs as well, but there are some added steps involved. Instead of mapping controller functions, you're going to want to map the keyboard functions to the many buttons, paddles, and doodads that the Steam controller has. So, mouse 1 to the right trigger, mouse 2 to the left, WASDA on the control stick, escape on start, so on and so forth. One other thing. Regardless of whether you're playing a hybrid or an UTO, don't be afraid to map buttons to those paddles on the back. For Doom 2016, I mapped Jump to the left paddle and Crouch to the right. These allow you to jump and duck without taking your hands off the trackpad. You can also bind stuff like Reload, Special Abilities, Med Kits, or whatever. I don't care. That's the cool thing about the Steam Controller. You can totally bind it your way. I'm going to leave it at that for this week. Feel free to experiment with any of the commands as you see fit. The Steam Controller is fully adjustable, almost to a fault, and you can change everything from how the pad haptics feel to what actions you want on those dual stage triggers, if any. It's a very feature-rich product, and you just need to learn it one step at a time. Happy demon hunting!